I'm Dr. Oka from Neogenesis Systems and Live Blood Online. So in this video we're going to look at how to use your 100 times objective. Uh, now most of your live blood analysis we do with the 40 times objective that provides sufficient magnification for you to see everything that you need to see in a live blood sample uh, on the screen. In certain cases when you want to look at a particular cell or perhaps a micro but a higher level of magnification we usually would do that at uh, the 100 times or with the 100 times objective right at the end of the dark field analysis. Now the 100 times objective uses oil the other objectives don't use oil so you're going to place a tiny drop of immersion oil on top of the slide and just be very careful not to get oil onto any of your other objectives so we'll move the 40 times objective out of place there to provide a bit of space for us. We're then going to just place a drop of oil on top of the sample and we'll then move the 100 times objective into position and the 100 times objective does have an iris diaphragm built into it so this controls the amount of light going through um, through the objective so usually this would be towards uh, in the closed position so that's this would just needs to be adjusted um, but it's usually adjusted in this direction to have it closed and adjust the fine focus okay to bring it into focus right, so that should be fine now in some cases if you find that initially you're not able to see anything with a 100 times objective you can just move the objective out of position again slightly and move it back into position it's just to ensure that the oil forms a thin film between the bottom of the objective and the top of the sample all right just move it there so once we have it focused that's what it would look like on the screen if I adjust this uh, iris diaphragm you'll actually see what happens there so if too much light comes through you're not really able to see anything so it is best to have it in the closed position there lastly then just with your um, 100 times objective after you've used it just be very careful not to get any oil onto your 40 times objective so we always recommend move the, con uh, the objective out of position by moving it towards the left so towards the four times objective and this is really just to prevent any oil that's still on the top of the slide from getting onto your 40 times objective we obviously don't want any oil getting onto the 40 times objective so moving towards the four times objective allows us to remove the slide um, quite safely without oil getting onto any of the other objectives. Mm -hmm. 